Hey there and welcome to video 2 of how to correctly set up your AWeber account. If you missed video 1, go ahead and go back and click on that and that's going to teach you how to set up your AWeber list. Now we've already created a list and um, it is called Keep All Your Cash because my website is keepallyourcash.com or at least the website that I'm talking about um, as we build for this particular campaign. So the next thing that you want to um, do after you create your list is, of course, now you want to begin to add messages to your list. So if you'll notice here, there are three different types of messages. The first is a follow-up, the second message is a broadcast message, and the third is a blog broadcast. Now for this video, we're going to deal with these two here because you're going to use these two um, more frequently unless, of course, you have a blog. And um, I do have a blog. Um, that site is blogyourwaytowealth.com. And if you want to blog um, your, or broadcast your blog, then of course you would choose this option here. But for now, we're going to uh, create a follow-up message. So follow-up messages are very, very important if you have a list because I don't know about you guys, but I'm very forgetful. And so I will forget to email my list if I have to do it on my own. Not only that, but I have several hundred people on my list um, on this present list, not this one here. This is a test one, but on one of my lists. Um, I have several hundred people and so it's very difficult to try to you know email all of those people so what we're going to do is we're going to create a follow-up message now the follow-up message you're going to want to create like a series of these messages and that way they can go out automatically that's why it's called an autoresponder okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on follow-up messages as you saw me do and you are going to create an HTML message now you can get very very creative here and for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into all the different options, but you can see here all these beautiful templates that you can have. Let's say I wanted to email my list. Um, let's see, this is October. Thanksgiving is coming up. So let's say I wanted to email them, uh, what are you thankful for? My um, subject, and again, for your subject, you want to choose something very catchy. You don't want to say, Happy Thanksgiving, because, you know, that's probably going to get ignored maybe something about you know what are you most thankful for okay for example that's going to be your subject now the cool thing about this little personalized button is you can personalize your messages so that your list they don't feel like they're just on an email list they really feel like you are taking the time to communicate with them personally so what you can do if you want to um, add personalization is you can just add their name here and depending on what information you have. If you have their first name, if you have their first and last name, I usually go with just the first name. It just makes it more personable. So then of course I would take out this question mark and I would add it to the end. Okay. So when they get that message, it's going to read, what are you most thankful for, Dana Shea? My name is Dana Shea. And so, you know, their name would come. If their name were Sue, Sue would show up in that box. All right. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is choose a template um, and, and go from there. Now, for the, again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to choose a template. And if you want to send a plain text message, this is how you do it. Just go ahead and X out of that entire box. Drag the box that says paragraph down here. Get rid of all these little guys here. And then begin to type. Hi, friend. Thanksgiving is such a wonderful time of year. Da 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 da. Okay? You're going to continue on in your message and when you're done you're just going to click on the white space now I really love all these buttons here you can actually incorporate your social media just click on the little Twitter bird and you will have to import your social media sites here I haven't done that because again this is just a test um, this is just a test run but on my real autoresponder I do have my social media link there and so if you have yours here and it's very easy to do um, then you would just incorporate those. You can also incorporate all sorts of things. If you're running a website that you have products to sell, then you can add coupons here. And it'll be a really cool way that you can, you know, give someone a discount on something that you're selling. This is great for my books. Um, if people from my list decide to purchase my books, then they're going to receive a coupon if they click on that link. Okay, and then you can also add a pre-filled signature. And again, all these things are just drag and drop. And just have fun play around with it, you can insert images, you can do all sorts of things, okay? Now the point is, is that um, you want to email your list regularly. So that wraps up how to create a fancy smancy follow-up email. Join me on video three where I'll talk about how to do a broadcast email.